Hi everyone, my name is Gareth Weeks and I was diagnosed with PSC in August 2016. I'm currently on a drug trial. I started almost three months ago and Martine asked if I wouldn't mind um, sharing my experience so far from a patient's perspective. There are a couple of things that I thought worth uh, chatting about that hopefully you'll find interesting um, and I'll try and cover them today in a little bit more detail. They include things like why I wanted to go on the trial, how I found out about the drug trial, how did I go about signing up for the drug trial, the activities involved, such as the eligibility criteria, the screening visits, the baseline visits, and the interim visits. And also what I'd say to other PSC patients who may be considering um, signing up for a clinical trial in the future. The reason I wanted to sign up for a PSC clinical trial was what started uh, on the day I got home and I was diagnosed. I became, like many of you, obsessive PSC researchers and I read that there was no readily available treatment or cure that could slow or halt the progression of the disease. And the only way really that I could think that could give me the opportunity to do this was to sign up for a clinical trial. That way we would be trialing new medications that may or may not work, but at least it would give me the opportunity and slight possibility of, of slowing it down. I wasn't really looking for a cure or, as such, but I was looking for something to slow it down enough until a cure was found. And it was literally the day after I was diagnosed I can remember texting my wife saying, I've come across this phase two clinical trial that had some positive results. And when the phase three study becomes available, that's the one that I'll be looking to sign up for. I found out about the drug trial simply through Googling. Um, initially it was the phase two, and I found out about that within a day of, of being diagnosed, as, as I mentioned earlier. The phase three study, which I'm on at the moment, if I remember correctly, the first time I realized that was soon to become available was on the PSC Support UK Facebook page. Um, in the interim, what I used to also do was Google um, or, or use the clinicaltrials.gov website searching for PSC related clinical trials. Um, but there is also a list of current studies on the PSC support website as well, which I would definitely recommend keeping an eye on. And that's currently got the, the up-to-date list as well. How did I sign up for the trial? As soon as I realized it was soon to open in the UK and in a location that was nearby to where, where I stayed, it wasn't my actual hospital. Um, I'm current, well, I was being seen in Kirkcaldy in Fife in Scotland and the drug trial is going to take place in Edinburgh, which, which isn't too far. So initially I informed my consultant that this was a study that I'd been monitoring for over the last couple of years and it was something I was keen to, to get on if I could and if I was eligible. I appreciated though that my consultant was very busy and um, this was something that I was keen to get moving quite quickly. So I also actually made contact with the study doctor directly he responded to my email within a day or two to say they hadn't actually started recruiting in Edinburgh at that moment in time, but they would be within the next month or so. A month passed, the, uh, the study doctor made contacts just to check whether I was still interested, which I was. Um, he set up a call, he gave me a ring and he spoke me through the phase two results and he also just gave me some information about what the study would entail. He arranged for a pack to be sent out, a patient's information pack, which was quite useful. And we set up the initial visits with the study doctor and the research nurse. The activities involved, once you've signed up for a clinical trial, at least from my experience so far, included an initial screening visit, baseline visits and interim visits. So for me, my consultant and my study doctor had actually been in touch before my initial screening visit. So the study doctor had a 
pretty good idea that I would be eligible based on what he had seen um, unless something significant had changed more recently. That first appointment probably took around two to three hours. It included lots of questions, both coming from myself, but also from the study doctor, um, patients assessment of itch, patients assessment of fatigue, uh, quality of life questions, and lots of tests, for example, blood tests, uh, ECG, fiber scan. I think it should have included an ultrasound scan, but I'd had one uh, very recently before, so um, they were able to use that. Uh, urine sample, weight, temperature, that type of thing. One of the eligibility criteria was a liver biopsy, and I'd never had that tested before. But my consultant, or study doctor, beg your pardon, wanted to make sure that there was no other reason why I wouldn't be eligible first before booking me in for the liver biopsy which makes sense. Um, thankfully, all of it came back clear. The liver biopsy was, was booked in. And if I'm honest, I've had quite a lot of procedures in the past. So I've had six CRCPs, uh, various other procedures, but this was one that for some reason made me nervous, uh, most likely because the size of the needle and the thought of it. Um, but I think it's just a scary thought. The actual procedure itself was totally painless. I couldn't feel the needle going in. Um, I had a little bit of shoulder pain afterwards for probably 30 minutes, but paracetamol sorted that out. And you have to lie on a bed for a couple of hours, so you would need a, a day off work. Um, there are obviously risks involved, so it's always worth considering these risks, like any procedure you would have, and, and speak to your doctor about that. But even had the risks been more significant or the procedure had been worse, it wouldn't have stopped me from wanting to go ahead with this trial because the thought of um, giving myself the slightest opportunity to improve my current situation or halt or slow the progression of the disease um, would outweigh probably any one-off procedures I, I I'll need to go through. I was eligible, thankfully. Um, which meant my next visit was a baseline visit. I think that was probably about a month later. Again, you're carrying out very similar tests to that first visit. It just allows the researchers to have baseline um, to work from for at the end of the study or halfway through the study. It probably took a little bit less time overall, um, two hours, I would say, the baseline visit, but again, I'm a patient that likes to ask a lot of questions, so it, it might be a lot quicker for, for some of you. I was prescribed the placebo or medication at that visit to start taking the following morning. And I would go back to hospital every two weeks for the first two months, followed by um, a one month break to finish off the three month period. After the three months, my visits become every three months for the next two years, but I am on quite a long uh, study at the moment compared to some of the other um, studies out there at the moment. So the number of visits you have and the time before uh, your next visit might, might be totally different. But so far, the activities involved um, haven't put me off this trial or any other future trials that I'd be looking to sign up to. What I'd say to other PC patients who may be considering signing up for a clinical trial is PC already takes so much away from us. Usually we're having to react um, to, to changing symptoms or worsening of the condition, but by signing up for a clinical trial, what we're doing is we're taking back some of that control we're, we're trying to be proactive in helping to support finding a cure or treatment. And I really believe that us as PC patients, we have that responsibility to help try find a treatment that works. One of the problems with 
studying PC is, as you know, it's, it's very rare. Um, so the more participants we can get in these studies, the better quality of data the researchers will have. But also, hopefully it would help some, some of the studies complete a lot faster. So rather than staying open for a couple of months while they're trying to recruit the minimum number of participants, they could hopefully recruit them a lot quicker and get the study kicked off um, a lot faster than, than currently is happening. The way I've tried to look at it in my specific um, situation is the study I'm on is I could be receiving the placebo or I could be receiving the medication, but regardless, um, what I am receiving for sure is a lot of monitoring. Um, I'm in much closer contact with the study doctor than I am uh, with my current consultant, for example, every two weeks rather than once every six months or once every couple of months. So that that alone is a massive benefit to me. Um, there is, of course, a chance that I get the actual medication, which may have some positive impact. Um, it might slow the disease. It might... Uh, halt it. it. There may be some little bit of positive improvement which I wouldn't have had if I hadn't signed up for this trial. So again th that's another massive pro for me and ultimately the findings of the study um, and the data they gather from the study will help find the treatment in the long run. So even if this particular study doesn't help me I know that the learnings they gain from it will hopefully help find the treatment or cure in the future. Uh, of course, all studies, there's going to have some kind of um, ad risk of adverse events or um, adverse symptoms. So it's, it's always worth considering these, of course, and speaking to them with your consultant or the study doctor before going ahead with any of the um, clinical trials. But if you can, um, I would definitely recommend trying to sign up for a clinical trial. Uh, I think it's only going to benefit you in the long run um, and in the short term with the extra monitoring. So that, that's what I would definitely be recommending. Thanks so much for listening to me today, guys. Apologies, I can't be there in person. Um, I am relatively active on the PSC support Facebook page so if you do have any questions you can come to me directly or I'm on Twitter as well Gareth Weeks thanks again for listening have a great day